How do you calculate food cost for a food truck? And what is the average markup for food in a food truck? Welcome to Marketing Food Online. It's Damien Roberti, and we are going to dive into these two subscriber questions about food truck businesses. And it's one of the most critical points when you want to be successful and, of course, profitable and obviously keep your doors open is trying to figure out what your food costs are for a food truck. And exactly is there a specific type of average markup? We're going to dive into that right now. All right, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So in this video, as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm gonna give our food truck subscribers, if you're looking to start a food truck business or you're already in it and maybe you're just trying to figure out a better way to calculate your food cost and figure out an average markup for your food truck, um, we're gonna go over a couple of different samples and examples actually to help you understand pricing methods. So there's actually two in particular that we're gonna cover in this particular video. Food cost percentage pricing, and factor pricing. So these are two ways that food truck owners typically use uh, one of the two actually following methods to figure out how to price their food properly. Now, before we dive into it and explain how this works, and I'm even gonna throw some graphics up here on the screen to help you understand this. You need to understand that this is food costs. This is actually not going to take into consideration your labor and other expenses that are either daily, weekly, or monthly for your food truck. This is specifically food cost, okay? So as I go through these examples, keep that in mind. There are a huge amount of variables, and some of these may be better for you. One or two of these may be better for you, or you might just create some flat fee that you wanted to charge based upon what's being charged within your neighborhood or your community or the city or county that you live in. If you have a menu that's similar to others, um, but one of the biggest expenses you need to understand is obviously the ingredients and at what pricing and what price point are you actually buying them from. Obviously, you get something for a lot less than some other competitor or some other food truck, you're going to be making bigger margins. That's just common sense. But when it comes to the pricing, what specific calculations and, and should you really be using? And what should you take into consideration? So I'm literally going to give you a handful of different price points, too, as I trickle down and show you a little bit of how this works. OK, so let's dive right into it. All right, so let's dive into the first one. That is food cost percentage pricing for food truck businesses. This is a method that a lot of food truck owners actually go by uh, when they're trying to calculate it. So the food cost percentage pricing method is the most widely used method for a menu pricing standpoint, okay? So determine the prices with this method, you would need to know the quote unquote target food cost percentage. And then we're gonna talk about the second one in a minute. And the actual food cost for each item and then you create your formula from there. So how does the formula work, Damien? All right, so food costs divided by target food cost percentage, the percentage that you wanna reach, equals your menu price, okay? Now, for an example, let's just give it, break it down uh, uh, as far as one particular item on your menu. Let's say it was a hamburger. Uh, you have a hamburger on your menu with a cost of about $1.50, and that, again, meaning that the ingredients that it takes to make the product, no other factors, by the way, just the ingredients, is $1.50. And your target food cost percentage, let's just throw one out there. The percentage is 35%. So the calculation of the item would be as follows. So you take $1.50 divided by 0.35, which is your percentage, and that equals $4.30. So in essence, your hamburger would retail for $4.30 based upon the actual ingredients. Again, like I said in the opening, you need to factor in obviously a few other things like your expenses, if you've got employees and other things like that. But this is based solely upon the food itself. So you can at least get a good foundation to understand $4.30 and up. We need to move from there. So that way you're going to get a percentage pricing. Okay, That's the one of the two types, percentage pricing. Now let me give you a couple examples of different percentages. So if you're looking for a 40% you would take your food costs at $1.50. Again, let's go back to the hamburger as an example. And your menu price would be around $3.75 on the minimum. 35% with a $1.50 cost, you'd be around $4.30. And I'll give you two more, and then we'll move on to the second pricing point. And if you wanted to do 25%, that as a specific margin that you want, 25% with your food cost around $1.50, your menu price would be around six bucks. And then lastly, uh, 20%, and you want to do that as well at $1.50, again, for the hamburger, you'd be around $7.50. 
okay? So the equation is very, very simple, but if you wanted to do a pricing of your food truck menu as a percentage, then this would be the formula you'd wanna work with, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the second type. All right, so we're gonna get into the factor pricing for a food truck item or food truck menu, okay? Now, this method, let me explain to you how this works. The factor pricing method uses a factor, let's say such as, let's say 30%. That represents food cost percentage, okay? So to determine the price with this particular method, what you wanna do is multiply the food cost by your pricing factor, okay? And I'll explain to you and I'll throw up a, an example here on the screen in a second. To calculate the pricing factor uh, and the menu price, you would need to target food cost percentage and the actual food cost for the item, okay? So the basically how the formula would look, is, it look like this. 100, you take 100, obviously it's 100 as a factor, 100 divided by the target food cost percentage would equal your pricing factor. So food cost X, let's say pricing factor equals the menu price. All right, and as, as an example, let's do the hamburger again. So your target food cost percentage with a hamburger at $1.50 cost, right? As, as we did in our first example, 30%. So you divide 30 into 100 and you get 3.33 as your pricing factor. So if the food costs you, the hamburger, as an example, $1.50, then your factor is 3.33. So you end up basically taking $1.50 times 3.33, and that actually comes out to $5. So that would be the price point that you'd want to sell it to your customers at. Of course, like I said before, you've got to factor in a couple other things like your hourly wages for your employees and any other expenses that are involved. This is solely based, again, on the pricing of the food. So the two types of factors that are most commonly used are the food cost percentage, and then you want to check out the factor pricing method, okay? And then from there, that'll give you a foundation if you want to move forward with all of the prices. And remember, keep in mind, your menu is going to be made up of a lot of different ingredients. Obviously, common sense tells you you got to get them at the cheapest price, but you don't want to get cheap materials or cheap ingredients. You just want to get the best price. Keep that in mind too, because when it comes to the food, I can I can attest this for all my own personal experience. Don't cut corners on the quality of the product. Just try to find the best price that you can and keep your standards as high as you can. Because the better quality food, next time you go to the exact same event, people are gonna come back again and again. So you wanna keep that in mind too. Now, other factors like I mentioned are operating expenses, um, any insurances that you have, Obviously, the cost of your propane, your gas, and all of the other materials to operate the vehicle, and then any employees that you're paying and such. So there's other factors, yes. But when it comes solely to the food itself, these two types of factoring processes will help you understand and create a great foundation for your food truck, okay? If you have any other tips on pricing food truck uh, menu items, let us know down below. If you guys are, you know, been around for a long time with your food truck and you're watching this video, some a lot of people that we have that are subscribed are new. And they're going to love to hear any examples that you have. Or if you've got any advice, let us know about pricing. Um, and I'll see you guys on our next video.